Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of this glorious Dawn of War 2 playthrough presented to you in the name of the God Emperor of Mankind himself, me, Gitbag the Great. I'm starting to get slightly better at these intros, aren't I? A big emphasis on slightly. Now, I did a side mission in between this episode and the last one. Um, the commander has been levelled up once, uh, so is Davian Thule, and again, he's closer to being able to now use at least one of these suits of Dreadnought armour. Avatus uh, hasn't been levelled up. Cyrus has, though, and he's just one levelling up away from getting advanced infiltrate. I mean, you know, I don't have to go for advanced infiltrate next time I level him up, but that's the next uh, ability I'm going for for him. Tarkus is now at level 15, and he can now fire plasma guns and flamers and the like when he's moving. And Thaddeus, eh, he's kind of unreliable as always, but he is just a bit better equipped now than he was last time. The orc has laid several deadly traps near his location. Be on guard. He should be worried, not us. Do not underestimate your opponent, Abatus. That path leads to an early grave. I know, Tarkus, but just let Abatus be an overbalanced hype man for once, alright? Just, 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 just let him do his thing. Just let him do his thing. He'll, uh, he'll probably grow out of that phase at some point. I swear, there's always commandos. Yeah, there we are. Of course, how did I guess? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, great, now Cyrus is stuck on the other side of the treadmill. But Davian, get out of the way, you madman. Alright, we're going to have to charge the commander through to get towards that rocket unit. The only reason why I rushed the commander out to get that laser unit as well was because, well, that was the thing that was most significantly threatening Davian. Let's see this plasma cannon out. Okay, the plasma cannon just glitched out. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that I unlocked Davian's self-heal ability, so no more will I have to use up one of my item slots with that bleeding repair kit ability, because that thing was just so impractical. What? Oh, that is just wonderful. Of course, of course it's a one-hit kill, even though... Oh. Oh, at least we've got, now got this self-heal ability for Davian, just in case. Oh, that's our resilience rating taking another knock. Surprise, surprise. So let's see, we've got our first orc base here. Mind you, this camp here doesn't look that big. I mean, it's quite compact, so there is a fair old bunch of nasties inside it, but... Mm, could be worse, could be worse. Still, we're going to have to take out that teleporter beacon that the orcs have in the middle of there at the moment, because that's basically like their version of the Tyranid brood nest. That's it. It's basically like those teleporter beacons, like the one I just destroyed. They're basically like the orc version of the Tyranid brood nest. They're pretty, pretty annoying. Granted, that being said, they don't really do much to end you. They just spawn a lot of ankle biters. Although the thing is with the orcs. They're a lot more gruff and sort of have better armour than the Tyranids on average. So it's probably a better thing to target their equivalent, as in their teleporter banners first. As compared to like when you're fighting the Tyranids. With the Tyranids it's probably better just to target the Synapse creatures and the Spore nodes first and all that. But with the Orcs, yeah, I'd say target their heavy weapons and their spawner locations and target beacons and all that first. So next we're going to go for this encampment here and then we're going to trail back past the encampment we just destroyed just now, capture this local locator beacon here, then swoop down and destroy the main camp and kill mech blitz blitzagger. That's it, blitzagger. These blooming orc names and their grammar and all that stuff. Oh dearie me. Actually, you know what? I might as well send the commander and the rest of the strike team down this way divert the attention of the orcs around here and maybe get Cyrus to come in and just lay down some explosives or something like that. Okay, maybe it didn't work as I planned. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, no, wait, bloody hell, it did! Jesus, that was one hell of a blast. 
I forgot how powerful these remote detonation charges are. Good God. Alright, that's the two mini orc base camps destroyed. Now we run into a small strike team. We're going to have to take out the, that rocket unit for definite. Alright, that was easily the most dangerous thing they had over there. Sugar, they've got another laser unit. Get Avatars forward, set up that heavy weapons team. They command to take care of that laser unit. Here's some heavy orc weapons. Uh, flamers. These guys really aren't that terrible, to be honest. But, if they get close enough, they can do a significant amount of damage. Still, nothing that a good head-on attack from the commander won't sort out. always baffles me. There's always this one orc thug, like an elite storm boy basically, just up on that little ledge there, all by his own son. All by his lonesome. Why? Orcs are like pack creatures. They follow the strongest, so why didn't he have any more guys with it? Weird. Right. Cyrus, attack that bunk with the satchel charge. They can go for the killer can. God damn it, the commander's dead. Oh yeah, I've got group shields with Avatus. Good, right. Quick heal everyone. Cyrus. Try and get out of there if you can. That's not fair. Again, my resilience rating is just going to take a complete pound in this mission. Wait, did I mean to check the ratings of this campaign before I decided to pick which one it was going to be. I think I might have forgotten what rating of difficulty I chose to do this campaign on. Oh, for God's sake, not again. Well, I think I've just about gotten every unit incapacitated by this point. Oh, I really am terrible at this game. I also think in part it's not just because before this playthrough I hadn't played the game for the better part of like a year or something like that, but also that, so you know, I was quite out of practice and such, but also I have left a lot of time between some of the episodes, so I'm not getting as regular practice as I would reasonably want if I wanted to be really good at the game. That's not inherently a bad thing, it's always interesting to take, you know, a different approach to a game, not try it for a while, take a break, and then come back to it with a fresh head. And I've certainly done that with some other games I've played in the past in order to experience them in a new way, or just to, you know, just take a break from them and try something else for a bit. But it does have the added knock-on effect of there is a chance you will end up just being rusty and out of practice when you come back to that game, and that is certainly how I've been with this game, particularly over the last... Well, actually, no, probably over the majority of this playthrough, really. I have just been very poor in my missions, and I think that's very much largely down to, for the most part, being out of practice. I mean, it was kind of the same way of what happened when I got back into playing World of Warships recently. I hadn't played that before I gotten back into it over the last three or so weeks for about three or four months, actually, and... I got back into the game and I'm really, really enjoying it again. And I think it's a great game. It's possibly even better than when I last played it. But I would be the first to say that I am certainly out of practice with it. Another example would be World of Tanks, which I haven't played for probably, I don't know, like two or three weeks. Two or three weeks, maybe four actually, probably even now that I think about it. And when I go back to that, I can guarantee you I will be pretty bad, uh, for at least initially when I go back to it. I mean, I'm not terrible at World of Tanks, but I was never any great shakes, so to speak. So when I go back to it, I'm sure I will be quite rusty and will need definitely a fair bit of time to get back into the gist of things. So it'll probably be a little while before I do a World of Tanks video again on this channel. Not that I didn't enjoy them, to be fair. I've always enjoyed doing World of Tanks videos on this channel. In fact, that's actually how I kind of started this channel up in the first place. There's the green skin. Oh, there's the war boss right there. Oh, the 
Why did he just run up to us with a heavy weapon? That seems kind of impractical. Oh, Avatus, get away from there, my boy. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of there. I think that grenade that that war boss just threw did more damage to him than it did to our strike force. I'm going to be brutally honest. Oh, he's been taken care of. Oh, that's one orc dead. I'm going to stealth Cyrus up and start laying down some debt packs around here. And then going to set up a defensive ring around here with the other three units and strike force. And just defend this position like hell until Cyrus is done, like just setting down enough bombs to blow that thing to kingdom come. Actually, that might not take too long at all. Uh, okay, I'll just send in a satchel charge and that'll probably finish it off, to be honest. Uh, um, wow, that was way more effective than I thought it would be. Alright. That was actually a bit easier than I remembered it to be, that little bit of the mission. Huh. Okay, good. Bad. Huh. It's funny. My rating overall for that mission wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. My fury and speed were certainly better than I thought it was going to be, and I even got an, an additional mission deployment. Huh. We finally have Ripper Splitter's location. A. Review the mission briefing in your map display and then recover that data slate. This will allow us to finally pinpoint the Astronomica Ray's location. These orc attacks are taking their toll, Captain, and drawing our attention away from the Tyranids. Is there any way we can deal a decisive blow that will stop them once and for all? Orcs are like the many-headed Hydra, Sergeant. Cut off one head, and two more will often appear. But if we keep eliminating their chieftains, the true war boss will eventually appear. And when he does, we will deal the killing blow. Angelos out. Hmm. Yeah, no, that went a lot better than I thought it would. Or rather, it. I got a better rating for that mission than I thought I would, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that as a somewhat of a success. Oh, look at that. 80 armor rating with that armor suit on. Beautiful. Nice. So when we get Terminator armor later on in the game, Avatar will finally be able to just lay waste to the enemies of the Imperium. I think next I'll go for accurate from cover. Basically just increases Avatar's accuracy and damage output when he's in cover with the rest of his squad. So Cyrus. Ooh, nice. You can finally get rid of this bloody just naff level 5 sniper rifle he's been having for... Like virtually the last four or five months of me doing this playthrough and so yeah I'm gonna get rid of that sniper rifle give him this l level 15 sniper rifle we've been carrying around for the last two or three episodes plus four melee skill plus 34 damage to Tyranids 11% chance of plus 36 damage to all nearby enemies that is actually pretty good for a mid-high level sniper rifle I'd say very nice indeed and finally unlocked the advanced infiltrate that Cyrus can use accessories while infiltrated without being de detected. That is very useful indeed. It would have been very useful in the ending part of that mission we just did, but eh, peaks and bounds as they say. In any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, or at the very least found it somewhat helpful towards tackling this particular mission in this game. Probably not considering just how many times my squads got incapacitated. But hey, at least we didn't lose the mission. That's the main thing, right? But as always, I hope you did enjoy it. And if you have any suggestions for this playthrough, for any other games you'd like to see me play on this channel, or any just suggestions in general for this channel, whether it be for gaming videos or other types of videos, be sure, and as well as commenting, be sure to like and share and subscribe to this channel if you did like this video. And if you want to show any extra support to me, be sure to check out my two other YouTube channels in the video description below, as well as my Twitter and my blog spot. And until next time, I've been Gitbag the Great. Stay safe, have fun with whatever you're doing. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, and I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield. Bye-bye for now.